Hallelujah. Come on in, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hallelujah. We go, we we did we are uh, talking about the significance of Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> to God be the glory. I love him. That's um, a tongue twist. Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah. Yes. Rosh Hashanah, I see you right. Go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. To God uh, be all the glory. Yes, yes. Um, as you come in, like, tag, and share um, this broadcast, we give God all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Yes. Um, before we get into it, my husband gonna bring forth prayer. Um, yes. Set the atmosphere. Hallelujah! As the man and woman of God get ready to come on, we're gonna first pray. Yes. After prayer, after my husband released the prayer, then we're gonna bring the woman and man of God on because we're not gonna be long on tonight. Yes. Uh, yes hallelujah! Yes. So everybody can go back and continue the rest of God bless everyone coming in. Prophetess. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Apostle uh, Stooks. Yes. Uh, Prophetess Mil Rice Milton. Hallelujah. Woman yes. of God, Cindy Hambrick. How you doing? Hallelujah. God bless hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. Good Hallelujah. evening, good evening, good evening, everyone coming in. And those that are watching the replay, uh, we give we give all honor and glory unto the Most High. Yes. Hallelujah. We take no glory. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. We just thank the Father for allowing us to even be on this platform. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Teaching, and, teaching his children, teaching his sheep. Yes. Hallelujah. In this hour and this season, we take no credit. Hallelujah. God bless everyone for coming on tonight. Prophetess Anna, God bless you. We missed you on last night. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. God bless yes. you, woman of God. So God be the glory. Okay, dear, you can go ahead and release the prayer. Hallelujah. Get with it. Glory to your name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just want to thank you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. For this opportunity. Hallelujah, that we have to gather together in yes, your Lord. name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray, Father, you give us clarity. Concerning this end time truth, Father. Yes, Lord. Concerning what you have called us to be and who you call us to be. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we just pray, Father, that your name, hallelujah, will get the glory. We're going to yes, decree Lord. and declare. Hallelujah. Your name will get the glory. Thank you, Lord God. Crucify all flesh. Yes, in the name of this Yashua. life, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Thank Father. You, we pray you increase while we decrease. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Satan, you have no authority on this life. Hallelujah. We come against all all backbiting spirits, yes, Lord. all monetary spirits, yes, hallelujah. hallelujah, in the name the of now, Jesus, all retaliating spirits, yes, Lord. hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. to die by fire in the Holy Ghost, Thank you, Lord. Father, you open up our understanding, yes, Lord. hallelujah, Father, you give us clarity to this truth on tonight, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. and we give your name praise, we give your name glory, we thank for everybody being watching this Live right yes, now. Lord, hallelujah. hallelujah. And just get ready to come on. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and watch the replay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, hallelujah. We pray you get a people strength. Yes, Lord. As they receive this truth. Hallelujah. Get a man and woman of God. Yes. My, myself and my wife. Yes, Lord. Strength as we share hallelujah. this entire truth with your people. Hallelujah. And we're going to give your name the praise. We're going to give your name the glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give God, we give the Father's name praise. Hallelujah. We give the Father's name glory on tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is this is. Hallelujah. The, the part two, we want to wrap things up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Concerning this truth. Hallelujah. And, and, and we just want to share with you all. We just want to share with you all what the Father once again is giving us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Regarding this holy day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. Come Thank on. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. With the man and woman of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please like, share, like, share, tag. Yes. Hallelujah, followers. Hallelujah. Yes. So God be all the hallelujah. glory on tonight. Hallelujah. Praise yes. the Lord. 
get on tonight. We're going to go forward in this word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The witches and the warlocks that's watching. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Outside of this, outside of this Hallelujah. life. Hallelujah. We command Hallelujah. you to die by fire on tonight because this word is going to go forward. Yes. Every yes. monitoring spirit, those that, hallelujah, are ghost watching. Yes. Hallelujah. We come against every plot, every state. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On tonight, every fire dot that was even sent on earlier today. Yes. We yes. break it, bind it in the name Hallelujah. of Yahshua, yes. the blood over this yes. life. We're going to go forward on tonight. The floor is yours, man, a woman of God. However, yes. the Holy Ghost has you all the flow on tonight. Hallelujah. Well, thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, sir. Listen, it is indeed an honor and a privilege to be here. And we give all honor, all glory, all praise to the eternal, to the most high. Yes. Right? Because it's through him that we're here. It's because of yes. him that we live, move, and have our being. And so, Hallelujah. of course, we're supposed to be talking about the atonement. Yes. Right? And what that looks like. And so, you know, yeah. as I stated last night, uh, in Leviticus 23, it talks about all of the Almighty's holy feast days, yes, right? Lord. His actual holidays, right? And so yes, when you get a chance, look at Leviticus, the 23rd chapter, uh -huh. uh, at verse 26, right? And so mm -hmm. after that, I want us to go to Isaiah, the 58th chapter. Yes, Lord. And we Hallelujah. go there because most people don't realize the importance and the significance of what it is we do, yes, right? Yes. And so it's at this time, like we talked about last night in regards to the brothers, when you're making your sacrifice, this sacrifice right here will be completely different. This is yes. in regards to afflicting your soul. Come on. Yes, Lord. And, and so, you know, Leviticus, the 23rd chapter. Let me get some money to put it back. Um, Sister Kathy, I know you, you joined. I saw that you joined. If you can write down the scriptures for uh, everyone that is joining. Thank you. What is it again? So that's Leviticus, the 23rd chapter, mm -hmm. beginning at verse 26. Mm -hmm. And okay. then we're going to go through the whole chapter of Isaiah 58. Okay. We're going to flow tonight. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Happy and day, so sir. Leviticus 23 says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Also on the tenth day of this seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall mm -hmm. be a holy convocation unto you, and yes, you Lord. shall afflict your souls. Mm -hmm. And offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord, and ye shall do no work in that same day. For it is a day of atonement to make an atonement for you before the Lord your God. Right? Uh -huh. So let me stop right there and parenthetically insert that we no longer have to do any type of offerings except yes. for, um, you know, offering your soul, your spirit, your body yes. to the Almighty. Yes. Right? Yes. What a lot of people don't realize is that we no longer have to have a high priest go before us anymore. Come on. Yes, right? talk about it. In the past, they, the high priest will go into the inner courts. And so it was so sacred that they had to wrap a rope around his waist with bells yes. on it. Because mm -hmm. if the bells stopped moving, that meant the Almighty killed him where he stood. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Yes. And so after they got done, they would then take a goat, right? And they would uh plead their sins on it and send it out that's where mm -hmm. the term came from the scapegoat yeah uh-huh okay right okay mm -hmm. but see here we go when jesus died on the cross right the, mm -hmm. the 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 veil was rent so because of that we no longer need a priest to go for us come on uh -huh. we can go to the almighty because of jesus on our yeah. own yes right? and and so now here we come into isaiah the 58th chapter right mm -hmm. and so now keep in mind this is powerful a lot of people don't want to talk about this portion but we got to know exactly what we're dealing with yeah and i say it this way it's it's hard to play any type of sport if you don't know what the rules are mm -hmm. oh my god if you don't know what the consequences are of yeah. not dribbling the ball while playing basketball they're gonna uh -huh. pop call Yes, some absolutely. type of penalty against you, foul, whatever right. it may be, That's right. right? So based off of Isaiah, the 58th chapter, and so here we go. We're going to read this out loud to your hearing, right? Uh, and for the people that are looking as well, because you need this. Uh -huh. And it says, cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Uh -huh. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways. As a, nation, as a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance uh -huh. of their God. 
my God, no. ask me the ordinance of justice, they take delight in approaching to God. Yes. Now it says, verse 3, wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Wherefore mm. have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast, th this is what, what the Almighty is telling them. Uh -huh. Behold, in the day of your fast, ye find pleasure mm. and exact all your labors. Come on. Lord. Behold, ye fast for strife and debate, My and mind. to smite with the fist of the wickedness. Mm -hmm. Ye shall not fast as ye do this day to make your voice be heard on high. Come now, on. This right here is the manipulating portion come of it. Come on. Right? Yes. And this right here is where people don't realize. My, my, my. When people take the word and they manipulate it, that is a form of witchcraft. Yeah. Yes, it is. Come on. Yes. Talk about it. Yeah. This is when people take, here we go, the 23rd Psalm, right? And they mm -hmm. manipulate it. Mm -hmm. Right? You hear people talk about uh, uh, <laughs> taking different things and, and, and putting it into a Bible verse. You're manipulating the scriptures. Oh. Right? This is when you talk here about people saying, well, God said that, you know, they'll be underneath my feet. Whoa. So is that why you wrote someone's name uh -oh. and put it in your shoe? Oh, no, oh that's God. not Christ. That's not. Come on. It's promoting the word. Come on. Right? <laughs> Jesus. Oh my goodness. My God. Mm. Uh, my, my, my. my God. Jesus. And so verse five says, Is it such a fast that I have chosen a day mm -hmm. for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush and to spread soft cloth and ashes under him? Mm -hmm. Wilt thou call this fast an acceptable day to the Lord? My God. Mm. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? to loose the bands of the wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, that yes, you break every yoke. Every yoke. Every yoke. Come right. On. And then yes, he goes Lord. on to say, is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out into thy house, that when thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh? Yes, Lord. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, mm -hmm. and thy help shall spring forth speedily. Uh oh, and thy righteousness shall go before thee, and glory yes, and the glory of the Lord shall be thy re reward. Come on, uh, yeah. that's what it said. Yes, Lord. Your re reward. Yes, Lord. I love I mean, it. He's not just gonna reward you once, mm -hmm. but he's gonna pay oh. double. Oh, oh. Hey. Because Come we on. decided to take him at his word and mm -hmm. keep his feasts and his solemn days as the Bible instructed us to. Yes, not Lord. for gain, not mm -hmm. for ill will, but Come because on. we're doing our best to observe his feasts and to live yes, as right. holy as we can possibly do it. My God. My God. Woo. Mm. Yes. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Verse 9 goes on to say, then shalt thou then shalt thy call and the Lord shall answer. Mm -hmm. He's gonna hear when you do this thing the right way. He's uh -huh. gonna answer That's back when you do this thing the right way. And it yes. says, Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. Mm -hmm. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and the speaking vanity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. It's time to come out from you know uh the naysayers, the pointing of the fingers. Well, you did this, you did that. Man, now nah, the devil is a lie, and he knows it's a lie, but we don't yeah. need to give him credit. So guess what? We gotta stop with that mess. Listen, yeah, Bob, it's about me today. I give you glory. I hallelujah. All. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh my God. And verse yes. 10 says, And if thou draw thy soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul. Then shall thy light rise in obscurity and thy darkness be as the noonday. Mm -hmm. mm. And the Lord shall guide thee continually Continue. and satisfy thy soul in drought yes, and make God. fat thy bones. Yeah, God. Mm. Make fat yeah, God. thy bones. And thou yeah. shalt be like a water garden mm. and like a spring of water whose waters fail not. Come on. Yeah. Yes, Lord. And they shall, and they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations. Yes, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, oh, the restorer God. of paths to dwell in. Oh, 
Mm. Yes, Lord. Now here's Jesus. the kicker. Verse 13 says, Ooh. if thy turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, mm. no, <laughs> from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, uh, and shall honor him, not doing thy own ways, not finding thy own pleasure, nor speaking thy own words. Then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth, yes. and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth mm -hmm. of the Lord hath spoken it. Yes. Wow. Hey, the mouth of the Lord spoke it. Come on. And see, this right here is why we go back and we say, listen, if God said it, you can count it done. Uh -huh. yeah, this is why we said before, God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. If he said it, he's able to bring it to peace. Hallelujah. Yes. yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Now, because we're talking about this word in regards to what it says, nothing I made up. This is uh -huh. not a nursery rhyme. This is the Holy Bible. And I tell yeah. everyone, all of it is good to me from beginning to end. Yes, right? Lord. Because, see, I get it. I know people say that uh, this Bible, right, th this, this anthology of books have been written by men. But it was mm -hmm. in, in, inspired by the Word of God. Mm -hmm. right? and, and, and so, not only so, but you got people that will tell you, well, you know what? The Sabbath has been done away with. Hmm. Right? As we stated a portion of yesterday, right? When Jesus said, I came not to destroy the law, but to fulfill it. Come on. What law was that? It was the sacrificial law. Uh-oh. We no longer have to do sacrifices. He was the Woo! ultimate sacrifice. Come on. Jesus. But everything else is still binding. Yes, it's Lord. Still binding. Yeah. Yes, you know, Lord. to this day, we can count back and say, okay, well, you know what? You can talk to somebody and tell them, listen, God said this, that, and the other. And we uh -huh. take it upon ourselves to rush the process. Mm, 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 Why can't we just wait for him to acknowledge oh, his word? Oh, come on, come on. Right? So, so here we go. My issue is you can't tell me what God told me. No. It did not happen. But if God told me, I can count it done. And yes. so here we go. All we want to do once again, we ain't trying to scare nobody, right? right. But we want to be really partakers of the word for all of it. Why? Because in the last days, I want to see his face in peace, and I want to hear him say, well done, my good and faithful, faithful servant. Sir, come on. Hallelujah. I tell people, listen, if it was good enough for the Messiah, if it was good enough for Jesus, why not me? Yes, Lord. The Bible says that he was in the church teaching or the synagogue, the temple, teaching on the Sabbath. The Bible lets us know that he kept the feast. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. He didn't do away with it. Look. My God. Right? And so Say then that we, again. My sir? God. Say that again. My yeah. God. What I said was that the Almighty, yeah. Jesus, the Messiah, kept the feast. He observed yes. the Sabbath and was found teaching yes. in the synagogue on the Sabbath. It wasn't my done away God. with. Woo! So, 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 Apostle, why is that there are so many churches, and I'm talking about different denominations, still worshiping on Sunday when the Bible clearly said, keep my Sabbath day holy? Okay. We, are we just still following the ways of man? Uh, even though that we're sounding the alarm to the people, letting them know, look, the Father saying, keep his Sabbath. And now you you got you got even the uh, the Jehovah Witnesses in the churches on Saturdays, mm. yeah. but they teach an era, they, they, they teaching the wrong doctrine. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with that. You you keeping the Sabbath, but you teaching erroneous doctrines. Mm. So I have an issue, and I'm trying to figure out. I'm like, okay, Lord, if you telling us, if you giving us these instructions to go by. Why is it that you still have so many churches open on Sunday morning and not Saturday or Friday, not Friday evening mm -hmm. up until Saturday evening, keeping your holy days and your in your in your Sabbath days? Go ahead. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so wh Ooh, while she's getting it together, Lord. it's because people don't, listen, they're too busy serving their grandmother's Jesus. We got to know God for ourselves, right? And so when you go and you read this word for yourself, yeah, right? That, then you that, find out a lot of things that were being said weren't right. Ma'am, sir. That's, that's the problem. Right. Because of the Catholic Church only t only said, oh, we're only going to listen to the to the preacher read. So you can't go home and read your Bible. Oh. So so we've been hoodwinked for throughout generations and for so many, yeah. so many yeah. years. Yeah. It's like a it's like a continuous program, but it's the father the said that I'm coming to disrupt your programs. Mm -hmm. He said it's time out for those programs, it's time to rip them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's not edifying the father. I'm going into these church buildings and they literally putting 30 minutes on the Holy Ghost to praise him. Huh. They they literally they don't they don't they don't tell the congregation to to say whatever I'm saying, take it back to the father. Right. Mm -hmm. All they're doing is passing around collection plate after collection plate, getting fat and 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 teaching prosperity. And there's nothing, please don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with teaching on prosperity and showing people how to get out of bondage. But where is the true foundation? Many of your people that's in these local churches that's been sitting on these benches for 30, 40 years mm -hmm. still don't have a relationship and cannot communicate sure with the Father. No. Right. And they always saying, oh, I got to go to my pastor before I can do anything. Come again? Yeah. That, <laughs> that. That's a form of Look, are you a Pharaoh or are you a pastor of the church? Right. But, 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 but you also know that, going back to what you said there, our number one biggest warfare in the body of Christ as leaders, watch this, as leaders, is to point people into their true identity. My God. <laughs> yes, sir. They're not doing it in the church. And, and, but the problem. This, this, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. God, God has throughout the scriptures, He has set a particular foundation, mm -hmm. and it's good teaching, uh, apostle. Yes, it is. Apostles. Yes. This is good teaching. Yes. Because going back to the prosperity teaching, many leaders is teaching the prosperity gospel as a career now. Mm -hmm. But but if you notice something, when God created the heavens and the earth, and but it but let me let me let me fast forward. Let me fast forward. When he created man, he gave man instructions. Right. The problem is Nobody don't want to listen to what God has to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They want to listen to what their pastor has to say. Now, mm -hmm. I'm being transparent on her. I was in a house with a woman who's my, who was my biological mother. All right? She was religious. I'm being transparent on her. She was religious. And she would ask me questions concerning what the Bible says. But her reply was, but my pastor, but my pastor, but my pastor. Mm. And I'm just going to say this, y'all. <laughs> I said, your pastor is an error. He is. He is. Because at this point, they're making their pastors their God. Duh! Idolatry. Yeah, and that keeping and that's the what Sabbath, Keeping the Sabbath was about serving the almighty God. Right. Mm -hmm. yes, Lord. The problem is, the problem is in this hour, nobody don't want to serve God. Uh -oh. They don't. Uh oh. My they God. don't. I'm going to let you say something, Apostle. Yeah, he, he, let, let him <laughs> I'm going to let you say something. Okay. So, whew, here we go. A uh, <laughs> couple different things, really quickly. Yeah. I would say these preachers, especially the ones that have gone to seminary, they oh. know about the Sabbath. Woo! But guess what? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah. You are not lying. Yes, I, I, we have never been to seminary, so that, that just blowing my mind. So you said they know about the Sabbath, but, they, yes, but they're not teaching it. Right, right. So, so, so now we got two 
things that to look at. One, if it's not a church that they built themselves, mm -hmm. right? Now they are at the um the the board, the trustee board, the deacon no, board. No, they no, decide no, what the preacher can preach and not preach. This, this is exactly what this is exactly what I was going to answer to your question about why they don't like why these churches don't because by them not having a building of their own they have to uh like with the irs is like the certain numbers that they get and they it's certain things that they are allowed to preach on what is that yeah. called, babe? Um, the 5136. The whatever which one is yeah, that they have, to, they have to answer to them and you know the government as we all know the government oh, is Lord, with them. Yeah. The system is very wicked. So that's why they're not preaching the true gospel. That's why they are going around only their messages about prosperity. And what they're doing is perverting it because now people are not looking for God. They're looking for his hand. Oh, they're looking for his hand. And there lies the next part. It's beneficial to them. It, it's put money in their pockets mm -hmm. when they don't teach the Sabbath, when they don't teach the meat of the bible the meat of god's word mm -hmm. right they, they gotta teach the the feel good stuff mm -hmm. right the, the stuff that makes your ears itch listen oh that sounds so good preach preacher but what about your soul mm -hmm. ah! yes Lord, my god mm -hmm. i'm not gonna go there y'all i'm not i'm not yeah. because it it, it 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 it's really it's sad you you you've been to seminary school. You you know what you're supposed to be teaching, but you're not teaching. So what you're doing, you you spread more blood. More blood mm -hmm. is being shed in the church building. Right. And so this goes back to the Bible says that hell hath enlarged itself. Yeah. And that there yeah. will be a weeping and a gnashing of the teeth. You know why? Yeah. Because they're a false preacher and teacher. Mm -hmm. They don't realize. Listen, they're they're gonna be screaming in eternal torment. Mm -hmm. Woo! And the oh. crazy part is because there's gonna be a firmament. We're gonna see them. Yeah. And if we're with the Almighty, we're gonna be able to see them. Now that's the script. And, 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 mm. and I'm and I'm and I'm and I go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But I've encountered many of people when I at the oh, oh I, I went to church today. Okay, so what what was the message about? That's good. You have no clue. So you what? just went just to say you went and sat in a building to listen to a man, and you don't even know what the message what was the was the father was the glory in the building you help i mean make it make sense i, I don't understand that and i went and be i've been to a church i i, I used to be a baptist uh i used to be non-denominational i used to be the, in the cogits so I, i'm pretty much I, i've seen it all and heard it all and it's one big organization it's like it's like a cult mm -hmm. it's like they're running a, a, a inside business but the father is not pleased. How you saying the glory is in these buildings and people still coming out bound, broke. Right. They, they don't have a relationship with the father. They can't pray. Right. The because glory they is not went. Right. people off of, these, off of these pews. I thought the church building was for to get people delivered, yeah. heal, teach, train, send them out. Send them out. Right. And send them right. out. So yeah. why is there people still in a building for 45 years right. in the, on the same pew? I'm, and I'm talking about mothers just dying out daily. Dying out. Dying out. Exactly. Dying out. Because the thing is, is that most of these leaders that are put in place, they see that these people come in with their gifts and it intimidates them. It, it really intimidates them that no, we can't let them. We just gonna let them die out. We just gonna teach them mm -hmm. what's been what we can only teach them, or pimp and, them out. And, or pimp them out that too. Like because that that's not if you look at the gospel. If we look at this gospel, where was the disciples? Where was the apostles' ministry? Their ministry was not in the four walls. Come on, they could have easily built four walls. Right. They knew how to build things. Right. They could have easily did that. No, their ministry. What he said. I need y'all to go all throughout the world and yes. preach the gospel to every. I know a lot of people ain't gonna thing. like this. I know a lot of people ain't gonna like this message. They gonna jump it's off. It's the truth. But you know, it, this it's got the truth. truth. This, people have to be 
be awakened in their mind. We are here to shift right. your mind right. and get out of this beast system that yeah. was set up for us to fail. Right. See, when you come out of your comfort zone and say, okay, I really want to have a relationship with the Father. I really want to be delivered from this bondage because I'm wrapped up in chains. I'm still in bondage from what my great, 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 great grandmother has right. done. And then we got our own grandparents and, and, and mamas and daddies holding in with withholding information and we can't even break free because you got so many secrets going on that's been passed down through the years and to, it has to be broken. Right. It has to be broken. Yeah. Going back, going back to the seminary. Yes, sir. The got right. conversation on the seminary. Mm -hmm. They are being taught what the ones in higher power want them to know. Right. Well, if they go to a good seminary, right? Oh. Because here we go again. They have to have a, a curriculum. Yeah. Right? My God. Yeah. Talk they about know everything they're supposed to be to know about the Bible. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. They can tell you about, you know, when... Uh, the Bible was first formed, right? They can tell you about the Council of Nicaea, right? They can tell you about uh, how it went from uh, the, he, the Greek, and I'm sorry, from the Hebrew, Hebrew. Aramaic text, right? To the German text, right? Uh -huh. Or from the Hebrew Aramaic to the Latin text, right? Or, or to the Greek text, right? My A lot of people don't know that the Germans, right? Are the ones that we get most of our knowledge from in regards to this Holy Bible. Here we go. And so this right here is where, I, I'm gonna say it this way. We talked about the witnesses, right? Uh -huh. And so I don't wanna just come out and say their name as such because mm -hmm. here we go. The Almighty's name is attached to it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. and, and so here we go. Craziest portion, they even teach them, right? The Almighty's name when he gave it to Moses. When the people ask me, who sent me? Who should I tell them? Tell them I am sent you. Right, because of the four letter tetragrammaton, Y H V H or Y H W H, right? And so, of course, I'm sorry, sweetheart, mm -hmm. if you are in Germany, right? Because remember, Germans, the German language doesn't have Y's, they have uh -huh. the J's, yeah, they don't have uh, B's, they have W's, right? And so, because there are no vowels in the Hebrew language, they just put the vowels wherever they need to go, right? So, uh -huh. whereas uh -huh. his name is Y H B H, right? Mm, they either call them Yahweh, Yahweh, or they do turn it and put the J's there, right? The J and the B there, and then uh -huh. put the, the vowels in place, Jehovah, Jehovah. Jehovah. That is still the Almighty's name. And the beautiful part is he don't care what you call him as long as this is going directly to him. And that's yeah. where our, our mind and our heart comes in at. What do you call me? Listen, I can call you Abba Father. You're going to respond, mm -hmm. right? Mm. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what you call him, he's gonna hear your plea, your cry, your supplication. And so you ask the question in regards to the church piece, right? And I would say a lot of people go because it feels good. Mm -hmm. Listen, uh -huh. oh my God, the choir sang so beautifully. Oh my God, the preacher sang so good or, or preached so good. Oh my God, the preacher looks good, right? It can be a number of things or better yet, listen, you go to church because they made you feel special. Oh, My you God. over the deacon board. You over the Ursha board. Mm -hmm. People don't even know what those positions really are, what an Usher right. really is. An Usher is synonymous to a gatekeeper. Mm -hmm. They the ones supposed to know uh -oh. what uh -oh. spirits are coming in. Oh. Right. I, I was so a gatekeeper. They're not paying attention. And then Ooh. they got these young folks at the door. They 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 not they on their phone on Facebook all day. They don't care. Mm -hmm. They not we're not teaching. We're not teaching a uh, correct foundation. Right. right. What a real foundation supposed to be at. And we're going to be in trouble with this next generation if we don't have to step up to the plate. Right. It's a must. Right. But because of tradition of men, mm -hmm. yeah, it's going to be a big issue. Oh, you know, I, I've been in this church 50 years, danced around and, you know, all blah, blah, blah. But you don't, you don't have a relationship with the father. With, with the father. You don't know the father. And, and a lot of people, it, like you said, man of God, they think they're going to all of them. Yeah, all souls do go back to the father. Yes. Uh-oh. But uh -oh. that's not your final destination. 
Come on. We are all going to be in a holding pattern. Come on. Hallelujah. A lot of people fail to realize that. And you know, even the ones that commit suicide, they automatic. that's an automatic uh, lake of fire right there because you committed suicide. So we, we, if we're not teaching um, salvation and repentance, um, mm -hmm. how to pray, yes. um, uh, when to pray, I mean, if we're not setting this true foundation and getting, getting these people, push them into more of seeking the Father, pushing them back to the Father because they have gotten so comfortable uh, putting they, like you said, woman of God, putting their pastor on a pedestal and idolizing mm -hmm. them. They lazy. They just go to church on Sunday and Wednesday night and Thursday night, uh, right. and that's it. And they go home. See yeah. the other side. Nothing that's is shining. Nothing. But you get mad and upset because I'm moving in a higher dimension or the Father is shifting me to bigger and better things. And you don't understand my language because the reason why you don't understand my language is because I'm strange. Remember back in the Bible day when the when the, when when Jesus taught, they said they they don't understand. I don't understand your language, right? Mm. Right. Because you don't know who my father is. Right. That's why you don't right. understand my language. Right. You don't have that relationship right. with my father. So therefore, what I'm saying, you're not going to get it unless right. the Holy Ghost reveals it to you. See, a lot of people out here want to teach uh teach different uh doctrines without the Holy Ghost, right? right. And it's a problem in the body of Christ that. We we in and out of the spirit. We we teach it, you know, in our flesh right. and not following the ways of the Holy Ghost. We're not mm -hmm. flowing with his with his spirit. It's it, it, it's got to the point now where what it's it not is? about God. Right. It's not mm -hmm. about God. It's not about it's it's not about God. A lot. A it's lot it's all it's all about who get what position. Yeah. Who mm -hmm. and, and what position they put other people in. Yeah. It's not about it, it's not even about God. And these folks saying, and you, you was talking a little bit about it after the line. A little bit after the line. We was talking on, on last night. We was talking about these folks don't even know what the glory is. We talked a little bit about it on the line. They don't know what the glory is. Mm -hmm. Because because of religion and tradition. Mm -hmm. God has to use us, as I was saying last night. God has to use us as janitors, spiritual janitors, to go behind these people and clean up the mess that was made. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. And you think that's easy? No. Nope. You nope. think that's easy to? You think that's easy to tell people <laughs> about the Sabbath? Mm -mm. And let me just say this. Let me just say this. And Pastor, I want you to speak on this. <laughs> Are we seven day events? Uh -oh. Are we seven day events? That's a great question. I don't even know what a seven day Adventist is. I've heard <laughs> of it, but I've never done the research. My God, listen. <laughs> I've never done the research, so I could not answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> they, I mean, they have so many different religions and different mm -hmm. doctrines out here. People just going with every wind that blows in front of them. Mm -hmm. Whichever one is comfortable, whichever one that says it's okay to sin and the father still gonna keep forgiving you. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. God never called us to be seven day Adventists because guess what? Uh oh, uh, I gotta go here, y'all. I gotta go here. The seven day Adventist church is already in there. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Even though they do worship on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Because they, you got some seven day Adventist preachers out here that's doing the same thing. They're teaching the same thing as these Sunday preachers. Mm. The only difference is they just preaching it on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm. So a lot of go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. A, a lot of pe a lot of people when when you know um, I had encounter and they like oh you go to church uh, what what. What, what day you go to church? I'm like, oh, the Sabbath. Oh, you a seven day adventure? No, I keep the Sabbath. That, you know, that, it, it, it's, it's a difference. Thank you know, you. no, I keep the Sabbath. And back to what you were saying, Ma, about how people, most individuals will come out or, you know, on platforms or where, wherever they are, you know, in churches and stuff like that. A lot of these people are really battling with identity crisis. 
That's our and, and, and they they, they, right. they want to feel validated, and I can recognize it and can speak on it because I remember when I was in a season when I was battling with my identity, like, okay, God, I know you called me to be a prophet, but why is this person saying I'm this or what? I was really in an identity crisis, yes. and that thing had me releasing things releasing words and doing a whole bunch of x y and z that i wasn't supposed to do it's because i wanted to be validated by someone that i felt that was in the office of being a prophet or someone right. that was in this office i wanted to be valid i wanted them to tell me instead of me listening to the almighty and yes. he constantly showing me in visions and in dreams this is what i called you to be yes. you know right now in these times like god is really shaking if you ever um saw like a drainer like you can put for your uh noodles or any and it just drain the water it's mm -hmm. just something like that but god is shaking it and the the things that's supposed to fall off that can't hold uh -oh. on to uh -oh. they won't uh -oh. be able to because Ooh. god is like literally tired of his church being misled yes it's, it, he's tired of the, his truth not being spoken right. the gospel is simple yeah right the gospel right. is simple and most make it hard for others to understand mm -hmm. most make it hard to understand that want to teach their own doctrine uh-huh people that are teaching their own doctrine so it brings in confusion into the people yeah you know we, we are right. so we are this word said keep my sabbath it tells us that's a commandment of god he tells us but yet you got them celebrating trunk or treat what is a trunk or treat or, or hallelujah night what, what is that that's not scripture no nope. that's something so demonic right it's demonic and the father you, is not pleased they invoke in more demons and spirits yes bring this it in is, more yes right. bring it in exactly. more bring it in more 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 and it's crazy because you know these people we've been taught these uh wicked i'm gonna say wicked holidays because they are they're not of god god did not say we, we need to celebrate this and celebrate these halloweens and these christmas like this is not christmas is not when god was born who told you that uh -oh. who told you that lie and the scripture, and, and, and the scripture we, we've been taught a lie because it feels good yeah. we don't like the truth because the truth see people don't understand if you are being taught this word in church or even if you're reading the bible by yourself if this word of god don't convict you something is wrong something is wrong because it's a sword it's supposed to cut but it's mm -hmm. supposed to cut when you in error and you reading this word it's going to get you right back in line like, dang. Listen, right. I get cut. I get cut all the time. It don't feel good. But it it what, don't, but it, the it, it father is going to get you right back up. He's going to get you right back up. Yep. And, and, and let me just say this to some that really just came on or maybe watching by way of replay saying, oh, they said we can't worship on Sunday. This is the thing right here. You can worship on Saturday and still end up in the lake of fire. Right. Exactly. That's right. The truth of the matter is, and I, I'm going here, I'm going here. If you're going to worship the Father, mm -hmm. you need to worship him every day. Right. That's right. Whether you're in the building or not, you need to worship right. him every single day. So this thing, this battle between Sunday and Saturday worshipers is really not even the point. Yes. Because mm -hmm. you can go to church on Sundays and end up in the lake. You would go to church on the Sabbath and still end up in the lake. End up in the lake, yes. Yeah. Because you don't have a relationship. Right. right. And then we're trying right. to get the people to understand right. that foundation is lost because a lot of people are looking more at man than they're looking at the farm. Right. Yeah. They, they, you got to have that relationship. And so this is why we're constantly pushing people to the father what is the father saying i don't care how right. many times people inbox me what is the father saying right what right. do you tell me first you know let make me be second in command the, right you go to the other, and if he right. ain't saying nothing guess what you better wait on him for an answer 
Right. right. I give you nothing out of my flesh. If, right. I, I'm, I, if I don't know, I don't know. I that's, don't know. That's what people don't understand. Like, that's why I don't say, thus said the Lord, if God did not speak it to me, you will not hear nothing right. come out of my right. 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 Lord, Because it, it's, it's scary because you got to answer for that. Right. You got to answer for that. Like you got to answer because um you know you have people that do and they feel like God have said this and it's really their hearts. Like the book of um Ezekiel chapter 13 when he speaks on the prophets when he was dealing with the prophets dealing mm -hmm. with the heart and the issues of the prophets like right. you no know, I didn't say that that came from your own heart and what you feel. You right. know? And, and we have to be very, very careful. Um, just being the body in general. Like, I just feel in my spirit, like, it's just this urgency to get ready. Like, right. to really get ready. Like, the, the body in general, like, it's just an urgency. It just feels like a 911. You know what I'm saying? Like, my people have to wake up. Like, y'all don't, we don't want to be caught sleeping. Right. And not doing right. what God required for us to do is simple instructions. Yes. Simple. It's simple instructions. But it's you got simple. everybody. Everybody is in so in a hurry. I, I got to get this done. I got to get this done. Everybody want to ride in the fast lane. Nobody want to ride in the slow lane. For some yes. reason, I just don't understand. Everybody is so in a hurry for a prophecy. Everybody's so in a hurry to, you know, to get make their name break. But you got to wait on the Father. You know what he told he me yesterday? Mm -hmm. He said, you ain't even begun ministry yet. I said, whoa, yeah. whoa. I said, wait a minute. Wait, wait right. a minute, Father. Right. I said, wait a minute. I'm in my 40s and you mean tell me that I have not even begun ministry yet? He said, daughter, you ain't even touched the tip of the ice yet. Right. And so many people are, are fighting for a title and a platform when they ain't got the basics yet. If you can't even break down the word of God with the understanding of the Holy Spirit, let me put right. that in there. Right, right. You are not ready for ministry. Right. You're not ready. People have to understand, um, they have to pay attention what Jesus did with his disciples. Uh -oh. You know, um, he picked them. They didn't pick him. He picked uh -oh. them. But, but the uh -huh. thing is that he taught them. And how long did he, he, Jesus' ministry was on for three years and then he died, you know, but he taught them for those three years. And the thing is, they were teachable too. They uh -huh. were teachable because once they encounter, thank you, Holy Spirit, once you encounter God, once you encounter Yah, your life will change. Yes. Like your life yeah. will change. Now you will have things happening because the enemy will throw things your way and stuff like that. Remind you of your past. All these type of things will come. But yes. once you have the encounter with Jesus, you ain't going to want to be going back to the foolishness. Come You're on. not going yeah. to want to sit at his feet and suck with him because I'm going to tell you about me. When I sit at the father feet and suck with him, the feeling, the peace that comes with it is yes. mind blowing. And I don't want to lose that. Right. I don't oh want to lose that. When yes, he speaks to me, the things that he shows me, I want this to continue. So yes, I have Lord. to continue to sit at his feet and Come suck on. with him. Because yes, you don't want to lose that thing because you never know when the next exit going to come. The next exit going to be. Listen. I, we I, have I, to I'm be a... teachable. We really I'm a have living to be witness. Teachable. I'm a living witness, and I, you know, I tell the father, you know, even even when I get out of alignment, and, mm -hmm. and he comes and deal with me, and he 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 attack me, and when yes. I go down in prayer, and and I said, Lord, you know, I just don't want you to take your Holy Spirit from me because I can't do nothing right. without right. you. If you call breath out of my body, that's it. Right, right. right. There, there's nothing else I can do. I'm just that's I'm true. just a I'm just an empty body without the father. That's right. I'm a, I, I'm a nobody. I'm not That's out here. Right. The Father said he's going to make your name break. The Father said he's going to bless you. But it's more than that. He yeah. wants us to know his mysteries. And because we are so prideful, because we are so arrogant, because we are in our own way. And I have to tell, I have to tell myself sometimes, Nina, move 
out of the Father's way. Right. You are in the way. Right. This is why the Father can't trust us with his mysteries. Oh. Uh -huh. We are we're gonna be forever learning who the father is. We ain't gonna know everything about the father. Well, our problem is we wanna know too much. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanna know too much and we wanna cram it all in at one time, and, and that's not how the father rolls. We all play a certain part in the body of Christ. We all yeah. are a piece of a puzzle. We're gonna keep saying that. He gives yeah. us things in parts. Yeah, and, and that's true. Uh my because in the word it tells us that um that he said if um you know we, we have to be careful what we ask for because right. in, in his word he said if i showed you spiritual things you don't believe like you know if i showed you things in a natural what makes you think you're gonna believe the things that i show you in the spirit come, come on here come that, on. that's his word and then he also tells us i believe it's in the book of luke if i'm not mistaken that um the time he let us know that the time is not now but when that when i when i know that you are ready then come i will on. reveal these things to you you know right, it's a right. lot of it, you know what it is why a lot of us have rushed and want to continue to rush into ministry and everything is because they're eyes what they're seeing what they're seeing other people doing but what they don't know uh -oh. in those shadows uh -oh. in the I darkness of people. those shadows what those people are doing see these people are making deals with the enemy these uh -oh. people ain't working they're not workers come on of the most high they're not come servants on. of god but they are servants of deities deities gods with mm -hmm. the small g come on Come they on. are workers for them and they right. are covering it up wolves what they would say wolves and wolves she and she they mm -hmm. are covering it up and making people feel like they are doing god's work speaking his word but guess what it's not coming from a pure place right it's not coming from a pure place and god is literally when when when, when he say changing the guards that's what he's doing because he's tired it's an He's yeah, and, right. and people and people that the body of Christ that is real in tune with what God really they feel we can feel the 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 pain we can feel I I won't speak of myself I can feel the pain yes that God is hurting from his people going astray he like what is listen stop and My just God. listen yes seek me my god i have all your answers yes Lord. and we don't want to do that as the body of christ we want to do things our way because we feel like this is what's right More to do mm -hmm. yeah exactly and god is saying no this is not what i'm saying no i need my people to learn of me Sit yes. and seek me he says seek me early 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 you know it's the reason why he said that seek me early yes lord i want to add this portion even with that being said you've got a lot of people they have left the church because right. either church hurt or they were lied to and they right. realized that they were that they weren't given the truth right and so now there there's a generation that's hungry for the real word that that's hungry for the truth that says man listen we've been through so much we just want to know who the father is that's it. Right. who can introduce us what and, and, and that's where you know us and the people that are on this live come in at my god that, in a, in a sense, I'm, and i'm glad you said that because i me and my husband having conversations i said dear we need to we're gonna we're gonna have to go out there and reintroduce who the holy spirit is right we gotta yeah. reintroduce who the father is right. because of church hurt because so many have left the church uh unfinished unprocessed right. um because of lies and deceit right. and manipulation mm -hmm. and and so now you walk on a, you got a vessel walking around with the anointing don't know how to flow with god want to know right. who god is but they still bound and they hurt. You got to get these right. people delivered and healed. Disciple them. A lot mm -hmm. of people, yes. and this is why I don't understand why people despise pastoring. Mm -hmm. Why you don't want to listen to the pastors? They part of the five fold. Uh -oh. Right. It's I, about I the, the answer for you. Come on. Go ahead, man. Because we 
feel for whatever reason we have to be perfect in order for God to use you. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the God. Bible clearly lets us know he's never used a perfect person. Not there are no perfect people. Mm -hmm. And and the, the the best part about it is when we are honest and we tell people, listen, I'm a sinner saved by grace. Yeah, yes. so he was an ex something. He ain't calling for you to be perfect. He just wants a willing heart, a willing vessel. And that's why we be transparent. Right. right. We, we, we be transparent to where you we ain't perfect over here. I and that's why me and my husband, we try to be as transparent as we can be. You yeah. know, I used to be a thug and a gangster in the street. I tell people I was about listen. that life. Uh, so listen. you ain't, ain't <laughs> none of us is his example. Listen. You know, I, I, truth be told, like mm -hmm. you say, I'm just a sinner saved by grace. Just like I'm trying to get, I'm trying to know as much as the father. As, as well as, as as a prostitute walking up and down the street, because mm -hmm. I used to be like that. Mm -hmm. so if you want to say I was a prostitute, I slept with every man every other day. I had a new man every other day, so I'm not exempt. Mm -hmm. So if the Father has given me grace and mercy, and he and he was and he was loving enough to say, okay, daughter, I want to pull you out of darkness because I can I use that. you. Because you're yeah. not going to be ashamed of the gospel. You're not going to be ashamed of what I have done for you. Right. Right. He has saved me. Yes, I went through hell and hot water. Been on drugs, sold drugs, been locked up. Used to run with gang members, dated gang members, prostitution, yeah. whoring. I done been down that road like everybody. A alcoholic. I come through a, a household full of drunkards. I took my first alcoholic beverage at the age of seven. Mm. Because I came through a household full of alcoholics. So ain't mm. there's nothing that look, there's nothing new under the sun. We all done been down that road. Like you said, man of God, he ain't looking for no perfect people. Yeah. Look at the examples in the Bible who he called for. Noah Come was on. a drunkard. Matthew was a tax collector. He robbed people. Lying yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Ain't nobody perfect. That's, true. That's Bible. For all have seen. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. And come all. For oh. all have sinned mm -hmm. and come short of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. and, and you're right, you're right, Apostle. We all are exes. Come on. We may have not committed the same sins. Right. right. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And this is exactly why I believe it. this is the hour to, to release our doctrine. Come on. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes. The only way people are going to get saved the only way people are going to get their healing and deliverance, they must hear the truth. Yeah, Jesus yeah. even said, and you shall know, know the, the truth. truth. Come on. And, and the, the truth, truth shall make you free. Yes, Lord. Yes. And then a few verses down, he said, who the son sets free uh -huh. is free indeed. Come on. And there are people out here that's crying out for healing. They cry yes. out for deliverance. True. And they and the problem is they can't receive that healing and deliverance when you got a lot of people misleading them, yes. lying to them, yes. telling right. them something God didn't tell them. Yes. Right. And it's gonna take for um, you know, for us, you know, to continue to sit at the father's feet because Most a lot is crying yes. out to see the book of Acts and 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 you know, in action. Yes. And I just remember that was one of my prayers. Yes, like, Lord. God, I really want to see your word live, like happening. You know what I'm yes. saying? And God said, well, I use you. Uh -huh. You don't have to wait to nobody else. I can use you. Why don't you be that one that step up and let me use you? Say it again. So who going to be suffering with me? Who, 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 we don't have nobody stepping up wanting to be sacrifices anymore. Uh -uh. Who going to be the sacrifice? Because they, they too busy chasing God's hand and instead of his heart. Come on. They don't want God's heart. They want his hand. Come on. This is why they the want the things. Right. They don't this want the wisdom. They don't want the revelation. Uh -uh. They don't want the knowledge. They don't want Come the on. understanding. They don't want the spiritual things. They want the natural things. Yeah. And, and what they don't understand is that if we continue to seek God for his heart and spiritual things, Mm. These things will be added to and, us. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. We can't fool God when we go into come on. prayer. Come on. We can't do that. We who who we think we fooling? We we the no, only no. fools if we think we can fool the Almighty. Right. 
Right. We can't at all. So he, he knows your intent when you're going in, in, in prayer to him. He knows exactly what your heart is saying. Like your mouth might say something different. No, enough is enough. Like God is like enough is enough. I, we just said that before we got on the live. I told my husband, I said, so many people reverence him with his mouth, but their heart is still so far. Heart from. is so far. Like, heart is still like this. So, it what was the purpose of people even think about it? Jesus. Repenting. Uh oh. You said, what, what happened? I said, what, what was the purpose of people coming on Facebook repenting if they if they heart still nasty? That, that too. You know, that too. That, that too. Like I was, I was telling um, Kathy today because I I I, re I repented on uh, Facebook, and I thank God for this grace period that that um, from from the other day until like eight more days or what is it seven more days now until the uh, the fourth at evening until the fourth at evening. evening. Yeah. Um, you know, God has been dealing with me about forgiving my neighbor, the witch across the street. Yeah. And not only just her, but the warlock I've been dealing with. You know, what I've yes. been dealing with, like, you know, the attacks that's been coming from yes. God is like, you have to forgive them. Yes. Don't don't look at the spirit. You are aware of the spirit, but don't, because it was the spirit that caused the offense, the demonic right. entity that's right. in them that caused the offense. It yes. was not right. them. They are bound. And uh -huh. they're trying to get free, but they you have some people that they just can't. don't want to be free. Yeah, yeah, you, right. yeah that's right. and they were set in place to cause these offense. Yes, they were set. So God was dealing with me because every time she pull up, I'd be like, cut my eyes, and I'd be having to catch myself. Like <laughs> Jesus, I'd be like, Lord, forgive me, because yeah. if looks get killed, she would have dropped dead. Uh oh. Be and mm -hmm. God, like you can't be like that. You have to love yeah. your neighbor as you love yourself. Come on, because you know? because in this hour. I mean, in this hour, the Father is requiring us to show His love oh, what you're about yes. to, say, to 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 His people because their healing and deliverance is tied uh -oh, mm. to us showing the to show the Father's love toward them. Yes. yes. See, the only way these people are going to come out of darkness, they have to see the light. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. They have to see the light. Yes. Let me see. I'm even, I'm even going to say this. Many of these people are not coming into the light because they don't see it. Uh oh. Mm. Uh oh. Mm. They don't see it. Most Jesus, of them. I'm sorry. John says that we, we as children of God, we are the light of the world. Uh -huh. But if Christ is in us uh -oh. and Christ is the light of the world, we mm -hmm. are light too. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I believe that's Ephesians said we are children of light. Mm -hmm. How can a prostitute, how can a witch, how can a warlock come out of darkness if they don't see the light? Come on. Right. Oh, you know. Go what? ahead. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just thinking this kind of because we're talking not about the person now, but about the spirit. The right? spirit. That demonic influence. Right. Oh, and, and, and so it's got me to a place now where I'm sitting here thinking, you know what? I want to get back to the place where <laughs> I want to be, and I'm going to say it like this. You remember when they they they, they were uh, trying to call out the demon, and he said, oh. "Um, Jesus, I know. Peter, oh. I know. Paul, the I know. Who are you? No, we yeah. want to get to the point where, listen, you know who we are, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And Jesus said, listen, this kind comes all out only by fasting and praying. Listen. We got to get back to seeking his face. Oh, it's time to go to war. Yes. Hallelujah. And then you know what? Not only that, but he said in his word, listen, the kingdom of violence, I mean, the heaven of, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, suffers but violence. the violence take it by hey, hell. Listen, if we were gangsters out there for humanity, oh, why can't we be gangsters for Christ? Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. We are. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. I don't go and, that, and that's it, though. And, that, and that's it. <laughs> that that that's like really like the the issue one of the issues that, and, and, that's, you know, and that's a problem that's a problem mm -hmm. because i don't even go go here the muslims they stand they stand friend with muhammad uh oh you said yeah. something about muhammad well, that's, that's, you know, it's you know, coming again. hallelujah yeah you even go some of these catholics and talk about the pope they gonna come in the right. power and unity and they and, right. and, and 
the power and in look, unity and it's and so look crazy. at all of these folks talking look at these folks going 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 and talking about god the creator and many folks in the body Christ sitting back and laughing yeah right and god is saying why you not mad uh -oh. why you not mad it's a spectacle right oh. <laughs> right exactly my god mm -hmm. if the muslims can stand up for muhammad i'm even gonna go here if they can stand up for farrakhan your farrakhan mm -hmm. come on and the catholics the priests can stand up for the pope uh -oh. we as believers in a body of christ we should stand up for christ right that's true amen amen, amen. my god because see the separation is already here. It is. It's yeah. not coming. It is. It has not already taken place. It's here right now. And God is saying, I'm a so, hallelujah, the people, the different, I'm going to separate. Thank you, Father. I'm going to separate my people from the people of Satan, the children of Satan. Ooh. Yeah. My God. Ooh. And this goes back to when Jesus said, let the wheat and the tear grow together. Right. Uh -huh. Come on together. Mm. And he'll do the separating. My goodness. He's gonna do the separating. Right. Yeah. The, I like how you said that, Apostle. <laughs> He's gonna do the separating. Yes, the problem mm -hmm. is we in the body of Christ, we try to do the uh -oh, separating. Uh -oh, uh -oh. That's, the That's the issue. 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 The problem is a lot of people in the body of Christ want to take the place of the Father. My Remember when Lucifer was in heaven? Mm -hmm. He tried to take the place of the Father? If right. Lucifer got cast out of heaven for taking the place of the Father, Try to. you think you're going to go by taking the place of the Father? Or the Come, on. Come on. Come mm. on. Come on. My God. See, 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 we acting, see, I, yeah. Some of us in the body of Christ acting like God is handicapped. Uh oh. I'm going there. I'm going there. Like he did our assistance. Oh, right. Oh, God. No, God, you sit on the throne. Let me do this. And that's the, you know, them witches and warlocks taking you out and you inboxing and calling. Brothers, I'm the pray for me, the devil. Mm -hmm. Right, I, I right. I know I'm telling the truth. Mm -hmm. no, I'm telling the truth. And they got the audacity to go to the palm readers, right? Or, yeah. or, 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 or <laughs> the soothsayers. What a, what a, what a buzz from the sage. Listen. Oh my God, I got to get my house clean. Hold on. Do you not know what all you're inviting? The Spirit of the Almighty, the Holy Spirit alone, right. can, can clean. And, and they wear protective crystals and everything else. I, it's, so it's, it's so demonic. It's so demonic. And, and, and to get on this, like, people don't understand that, you know, just keeping the, the Sabbath and watching the moon and everything and, and how yeah. we're supposed to observe it. But you have to understand you have those ones that only watch it to be in a, to, to know when to release demonic things like how right. of Enoch speak on how the angels, the fallen angels came down and taught mankind the secrets of uh, which astrology and all uh -oh. this type of stuff. Oh, come on, all this type of stuff was not Ooh. meant to be demonic, Jesus. but they had perverted it. It was things that God had hidden from mankind for a reason because it wasn't time. It wasn't time. Everything in heaven is set for a time. Come on. Set for a time. And that's why, why we are in this open heaven because we are in the open heaven. And you have to Hallelujah. understand how the book of Enoch speak on six portals for blessings. And then we have six portals for curses. Mm -hmm. And when the heaven is open, those both sides of those portals are open so they can release from this end and it can release from this end. My so that's, that, this is why, see the body of Christ, man. Ooh, we have to patch it up. We a lot of us have to stop trying to be in competition come on. And, and learn how to come together in unity because when we come together in unity, we are so much powerful. Come on. We can, when we come together and agree yes. and agree yes. with heaven and align with heaven and what God is saying, you know these things won't be able to come near the body come of Christ. On. Come on. Why are we walking around and, and people in the church are sick? How is My this God. possible? 
Mm, 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 How is it possible? Because and, everybody trying to be like somebody, everybody ain't, don't want to take their rightful place in the body. Like right. the body have many members. So no, why no, are you no, not no. being the eyeball that you supposed to be? Right. You're trying to be the mouthpiece, but you're uh -oh. really the eyeball. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Come you're on. operating in the office. I hear you, Holy Spirit. Come operating on. in the office that you were never assigned to. Oh. And it's causing this eye to, to not see. So this, oh, this one right eye is only operating, but the, the left eye ain't, and it can't see, and it's peripheral. So, Vision it's was good. coming. My God. So it was coming. The, I, and, and that's the danger that the body of Christ is in. Yes. Right. So the body of Christ is in danger because of people want to operate. At, Father, I hear you. Flow. People want to operate in things that God never assigned them to do. My God. Wow. And this is why the body is going crippled. And God is like, wait a minute. I need, I, I place you here. I Enough need you that. here so you can see what's coming. Yeah. Lord. You know what that reminds me of that game they used to play in the big Jesus, cities of New York, that, uh, three card Monty. Right? <laughs> because we're not focused, we can't see what the hand of the enemy is doing. My God. And so then now, whereas the Almighty has given us a way of escape, yes. we've invited more enemies to the party. Oh, oh my God, Jesus. Ooh. Mercy on my soul, God. And this is why the attacks has been so intense because a lot of people are out of position. Ooh, yes, God. yes. If you are gatekeeper, why you, why you, why you over on the other side of the gate? If you, if you supposed to be at the north gate, stay at the north gate and stand at your post. Some of them fell asleep. Now, now the father got to put more on us, the ones that are awake. We gotta take on four or five different jobs. It's wearing, it's wearing us out. People, wake up, it's wearing us out. Some of us got six jobs in the body of Christ and it's wearing us out because like, like she said, like the woman of God said, you want a bigger position because it draws more attention to you than the father. And God ain't getting no glory out of that. He ain't. He ain't, he ain't getting no glory. Ain't getting no glory out of it. To be connected to the Father and just to feel the feel of pain, like I, I don't understand how people whole don't whole understand whole and have the connection with God and not feel yes, what me. heaven is feeling yes, for His people. Uh, no, 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 my it's a real, it's a real cry. Yes, it is. Because God don't want his people to perish. You don't want us to perish. And it's a real cry because you have souls dying out and perishing because people don't want to be the eye or people don't want to be the mind. They don't want to no be, be, they don't want to be the foot. They don't want to be the leg. They don't want to be the arm. But if God has placed you there, this is where you have to be. Right. So the body can function. Yes. The soul of body can function how God called it to. Yes. And so many people are dying, dying on our watch daily. Yep. And we too busy trying to figure out a scripture to come at our brother. The devil is a liar. My God, Jesus. The devil is a liar. My God. And, and, and God is crying out for his people. Listen. I'm here. I'm, I'm near. Yes. Get it together. God is literally like no, crying no, 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 out. No. Yes, he is. For his people, he's no, crying no. out for us. Yes, Lord. Thank and you. you have some that have been so yes. towed up from the church. And they're running to these witches and warlocks. Because they're making them feel comfortable. They're making them feel good. They're, they're nourishing them. Because yeah. you have these people that are in the churches turning them away. And now they're running into the arms of witches and warlocks. And their gifts are being tainted. I don't yeah. know why God got me speaking. Oh, to you in the vein, woman of God, because I had a dream like that last night to where God, he showed yeah. me I was standing in a kitchen talking to this woman of God. And my clothes and her clothes were on top of the washer and dryer. 
And this dark-skinned woman walked by and started to mingle our clothes, and I had to stop her in her tracks. I said, no, 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 because her clothes are filthy. You are not going to mix my clean clothes with hers. Right. I'm right. not going to mingle with the world. I'm not going to entwine, hallelujah, my purity with somebody else that's filthy. I'm not doing that. Because because you want because you want what I have instead of you doing the work and like the woman of God said, want to run into the hands of witches. Now you now you don't realize, oh, I done messed up. Let me just let me just creep my way back in and 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 and, and mingle myself in, in the bunch so I can look like everybody else. And when I woke up out of that dream, I said, Father, you're gonna have to help me. You're going to have to help me because I knew the woman of God that was in my dream that was trying to mingle herself, like mingle herself, try, try, try to hide herself, include herself in with me because I was more pure than she was. Now, I can help you get your deliverance. I can help you uh, with, with, with whatever you're dealing with, you know, and, 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 and that can be done behind closed doors. Many of these leaders want to uh, expose people. Yeah. And that's yeah. not how we roll. And I know they take scripture out of context when they say open rebuke is better than secret love. No. That just be the, the ugliness of people's hearts. Right. Because they want to put people's business out. So they can look so they can look like they, so they can look good. Better. That's it. Right. That's oh. it. But woe unto those pastors. Yes. Woe unto those pastors. As Jeremiah 23 say, woe unto those pastors. Yes. Who misled and mistreat his sheep. Come on. Woe unto them. You're causing the sheep to fall. It's too much bloodshed. And, and, and like you said, we got to operate in the position that the Father has graced us with. No matter if your calling is higher than mine, guess what? When we come together and flow, you see how well we flow on this line. People got to understand, when you are flowing with the Holy Ghost, there is no competition. There is no jealousy there. It may be some knowledge that you and your husband know that we don't know right. that we can obtain from right. you guys. Right. And this is a problem in the body of Christ. Nobody don't want to learn from me tonight. No. They want it all for Many themselves. Many people want to outdo. Yeah. But, but, but. I, I want to say something, um, daughter. You said mm -hmm. when you mentioned about the eyes, you know, God called you to be an eye, and you trying to be the mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One thing, I, and I shared this with my wife uh, about First Corinthians chapter twelve. Jesus. My God. One thing about a band. Or orchestra. When you got one person that's out of note, that's out of tune, mm -hmm. it distorts the whole sound. It does. Right. Daughter, you said if God called us to be, if God called you to be an eye, you be that eye. Right. Because one thing about the human body. The eyes meet the ears. Uh oh. Right. The ears and eyes meet the nose. Mm -hmm. The nose meet the mouth. The mm -hmm. mouth meet the legs. The legs meet the shoulder. The shoulder meets the back. Come on. Guess what? Guess what? If if God is a God of order, which he which yes, he, is, he is, everything he created must flow in that same spirit of order. Yeah. The problem is you got some or you got one in the group that's out of order. Uh-huh. Yeah. And what happens is when you got a, a, a connection yes, and somebody that you connected to is out of order, uh -oh. it makes the whole oh. group. Come on. Speak that. Speak that again. I got to say that. Come on. Say yeah. that because because we many people in the body of Christ is so is so comfortable being divided. Uh oh, my God! That, the Lord told me something earlier today. 
He said the spirit of division gonna take a lot of folks out. Yeah. Right. He's going to, he said it's going to take a lot of people out. The, if we can't come together mm -hmm. as people of God, as we say, the, 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 I'm even going to say, God needs to go ahead and take all of us out. My God. But because of his love, yes, because of his grace, yes. his mercy, yes, he has connected all of us together yes, in a body place so we can come together yes, Lord. and do the work of the kingdom. Yes, the kingdom will not advance oh. if we as people of God yes. cannot come together. Yes. See, see pe people don't understand just like how the enemy need willing vessels god need those willing vessels too. God need them too, exactly. because a spirit can't just dwell like it just can't dwell romanly around the earth it, it, it can't the environment is not safe for just that to do it. Yes, Lord. That's why even when, when the enemy in the, the, the third part of heaven was cast down and they came to earth, but guess what? What did they do when they found a host? Uh -huh. They got right in it. They, they uh -huh. went instantly. You know what I'm saying? Because they found a host. My so it, that, that's how it is with God. And God is like crying out like, where are my willing vessels? Thank you. Is that no, nobody want to be a sacrifice? Nobody, nobody don't want to be a sacrifice. No, no, nobody want to be a house. I want God. I want God to use me, but I don't want to be an intercessor. Uh oh. The in, listen, listen. I'm We're praying and asking God to use us in the in the places that He's put us in. We we gotta complain and murmur about it. But you want to use what? you. You this, ask me to use you. Right. You don't get right. the choice where I put you. This is why He's removing. The anointing, Stripping and this is why the changing of the gods must take place. Because the changing of with the with the changing of the God, that's when we're going to see real connections. Yeah, we're going to see we're and we're in this hour right now. We're in this hour right now because what somebody won't do. Uh oh, God got a replacement. You better believe it. And don't you dare think. That you are so anointed, uh -oh. so highly on the favor of God is about it, that you cannot be replaced. Uh -oh. Remember Moses? Uh oh. Ah, Come remember on. Moses? He didn't see the problem. Uh -huh. He didn't even see it. He uh -huh. couldn't even walk in the land. Uh oh. He sure didn't. He got a glimpse of it. He got a glimpse. He sure did. That was it. Uh, do you do you want to experience yeah. what the Father has shown you, or you just want a glimpse? Uh oh. My God, 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 Jesus. God, God is not playing with none of us. With none of us. And, and, and I, I, and Lord, I have told, you know, my wife and I, we talk with you. And, and I, you heard me say this. In this hour, in this hour, I made up my mind and I'm going to serve the Father. Right. Okay. Right. No matter what. No matter what. Because I didn't choose to be no apostle. And trust me. Right? I told the father I was fine being an intercessor. Let me just pray in the background. Just mm -hmm. let me be a teacher. Nope. Mm -mm. He said, no. He let me just be an evangelist, Lord. I can just, no. I talk to your people. You, I'm good. <laughs> he said, no, daughter. You got no nope. fire. And, and people don't understand the warfare. Come on. Yeah. My, this, this, when you carry a title, that yeah. God did, that God told you you was going to walk in it. I need to say that again. When you carry a title that the Father told you to walk in, you got to understand the kingdom of darkness ain't going to like you. At all. And you're going to stay yeah. being classed and I'm telling you, you, you can, look, you got to be tried in the fire daily. This is a daily yeah. walk. This ain't no, I'm going to be an apostle today. And then, you know, I'm going to be an intercessor tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to do nothing the next day. No, this is an ongoing fight. Because let me tell y'all something. Me and my husband, we talk about warfare. But you know what? How I felt earlier, I said, Father, you're going to have to deal with me because I can't get on the line. My body was up under so much heavy attack today. I couldn't even walk. My husband had to come in here and get me and pray over my body. Yeah. People don't understand. These fiery dots, people slandering your name, people yeah. calling you witches and warlocks. 
it ain't fun. Yeah. Not fun. And, yeah. and guess what? Guess what? Even with them being saved, you even got folks that's supposed to be connected to you. Uh -oh. That's supposed to know your spirit. Uh oh. Right. But hold on with the lies uh -oh. that what's being said about you. Uh -oh. well, 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 guess what? And you know God still tell you, you still got to do what I tell you to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can that do? And this is why some folks don't want to walk in their calling. Mm. But let me tell you all. But let me tell y'all this. If God tell y'all something, y'all better do it. Right. Yeah. I don't care who slander your name. Oh, I don't care who talked about oh, you. Oh, I don't care who cursed you out. Oh, you oh, better oh, walk in your calling. Oh, oh, yeah. Down from me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Either three things going to happen. He's going to remove the anointing. He's going to take you out or both of them. Right. My God. Yeah. And in this hour, we have to make up our minds that we're going to serve God with our whole, whole right. No matter what. Real. No matter right. your family members. Woo, I don't care. You got 5,000 friends on Facebook and, 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 and 4,500. Unfriend, you're blocking. You still better be who God called you to be. Mm -hmm. That's true. Because in this hour, I'm telling you, in this hour, oh, our obedience mm -hmm. will be tested. Yes, it will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and you and your apostle as, a, as, as an apostle right now, many people out here want to start churches. Right. Oh, oh I, just, I just want to be in the buildings, you know, standing behind the platform. They don't understand the warfare you got to go through. Right. Right. Just being a pastor. Right. I'm over here smiling so ridiculously hard because <laughs> we talked about this one particular scripture, 1 Corinthians 12th chapter. That's what I preached this past weekend. Yeah. <laughs> and the 13th chapter, all of it. Right? <laughs> so everything, I, I'm, 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 I'm blown. I'm, my mind is blown. And after I got done, man, I promise you, I promise you, yeah. I sat down and cry. all I could do was cry. cry. My God. I was like, wet with sweat, but tears running down my face. I'm like, Father, I don't want these people's blood on my hand. Come so on. Let me do my part. Mm -hmm. Jesus. That's why, that's why, as I will just say, as leaders, but we need to tell the people yes. the truth, yes. right. whether they want to hear it or not. Because some of the main ones that are going to fight up against us is those that are religious. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. the, these modern-day Pharisees and Sadducees, <laughs> religious and traditional folks, mm -hmm. and we still has to love them. Oh, my God. Yes, if God tell us to give them a word, we still has to release that word to them. Yes, mm -hmm. Come on. But see, in this hour, is either God or the devil? Mm. Is it, it look, look, everybody, everybody, hallelujah. Is he the God or the devil? Mm -hmm. Ain't no in between. Ain't no in between strata and the fence. I'm even gonna say this. I'm even gonna say this. Something is wrong when you are a pastor and you are in a secret, uh oh, you're in a secret <laughs> society mm -hmm. on the basis. Mm. <laughs> it's either God, Pastor, Apostle. You can go ahead, Apostle. Go ahead. No, sir. So you were talking about the religious yeah. people, right? And so immediately my mind went to James, the first chapter, Ooh, verse 26. Let's go, there. let's go there. And 27. Hallelujah. Woo. Look, I was just talking about that, like people being turned over to their reprobate. We spoke on that mm -hmm. yesterday. Yes, Lord. Like, yeah. like what, what is going on? Because a lot of these people, um, go ahead, Pastor. Yeah. So James 1, the first chapter, the 26th and 27th verse, mm -hmm. says, if any man among you seem to be religious and bridled not his tongue, <laughs> but deceiveth his own heart, ah, ah, this man's religious religion is oh, vain. Oh, oh. Right. And then verse 27 says, pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless oh. and the widows in their affliction Come and on. to keep himself unspotted from the world. Come on. Come on. Even with, even with his mom, 
she was so religious. Yeah. When she fell sick in the hospital, ask me what when her pastor showed up. This woman faithfully gives tithes. This woman faithfully shows up mm -hmm. to be Talk a to be usher. She faithfully do everything for over how many years? Was it 40 some years? Yeah, 30. 30 some years. The, all she, she, didn't, she didn't even have a chance to do the, the her assignment that God had her. That, but you know what? Come you know on, what? yes, because she was supposed to still be her. She's passed on and walk as an evangelist. This is what the Lord told me. This is what the Lord told me. My God, I never forget. I will never forget this. He said this. He said either, and I was young. I want. I'm gonna even say this. I wasn't even saved. Uh-oh. I wasn't even saved. He said, this is what happens when you choose to do man's way and not my way. Jesus. <laughs> so, so coming up as a child, I went to church for nine years. That's it. Just nine. God took me out of church at the age of nine. My mom will go to church and I will be at the house by myself at the age of nine. And when she come home from church, I will ask her certain questions about the church that she couldn't tell me. My God. And I heard the Holy Ghost again. You can either do it man's way or you're going to do it my way. Right. And that's and that stuck with me. Mm. Even coming up to the point I didn't want to go to church. My God. Mm. I want to help somebody on here. Mm -hmm. I want to help somebody on here. Is that I have nothing against the church. Please don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I have nothing against the church. But God did not call me to a building. Uh oh. Right. right. Mm -hmm. The way right. how he shifted my mindset, not just only concerning ministry, hallelujah, not just only concerning the church. He said, Look, I call you outside. Okay. The four walls. Okay. So you work. <laughs> y'all better. Y'all better. Y'all better. Listen, you, you just said that. Um, experience. He, pastor just said that. Jesus. Hey, God. Pastor just said that uh, this Sabbath service. Jesus. He, and he people all that stuff. Don't understand. <laughs> the only time. Oh, they gonna like me on this one. <laughs> the only time we need to be in somebody's building. It's when God lead us to a building. Uh -oh. So if you're in the region and there ain't no good Bible-based churches, I advise you to stay at home. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Now go with your own risk. Go with your own risk. Some of these churches in the synagogue are saying, I'm telling you, mm -hmm. you get up mm -hmm. in there, all that witchcraft activity going on up in that building. I witnessed, I witnessed a person. I witnessed a person to communion had a seizure. A seizure. Oh, my God. My, my, my. No, because they ain't know I don't know how to pray. Uh, my, my. 
She was crying. She didn't know what was going on. Mm-mm-mm. But the church we was in, it was a well-known apostle. Woo. Mm. But all you can do is say, get the security guards and take them up out of here because they're causing a disruption. You may tell me, this, and this was a healing and deliverance ministry now, you can't get this spirit up out. But when mm. they saw me and my husband, they operate because the father told us to. He led us to another building. They didn't like that. They didn't like, they didn't like it. They took that pushed us to the side and said, y'all not authorized. Sure did. We are authorized by the Holy Ghost. Right. We are authorized by the Holy Ghost. And, and mm-hmm. when they didn't realize, they just bled on on fence. Right. Right. Um, my, my, my. What the leverage was. We were talking about the sound yesterday. Mm-hmm. Remember last night, we were talking about the sound. Yes. There was a sound of deliverance in the atmosphere. Right. But nobody couldn't hear you talk. Right. Not going to pay attention to what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. We were the only two that heard it. And they brought it up to the side. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. 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 Mm-mm.
Uh huh. Something. Oh, oh, I'm going here. I'm going here, y'all. Yeah. I'm going here. Hmm. Something is wrong if a pastor is inside the building more than outside the building. Jesus. Uh -huh. My God. Mm -hmm. You 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 only you only concerned about the building to the point that becomes your home now. Mm -hmm. I went to a church. I went to a church, and and the and the pastor had a bedroom in his in his study room. My God, it made a little room with a bed, bathroom, in, in the church. Where do he spend time with his family? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't, right. please don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. No, but this is ministry right here. We minister right. to right. each other. That's that's right. part of ministry. I can't At home first. Before him. Right. At home first. There you go. Ministry starts at home first. Yeah. And I said to myself, this man sleeps in his. Oh, no, no. And he's married. No, 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 no. We're going to have a problem, sir. I'm telling y'all, this stuff is going on. It may sound, it may sound funny. But this, I'm telling you, a real true story. My experiences when the father led me or had me to visit me in the churches, I'm telling you, I, I can tell y'all some stories. It'll take all night, all for the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. The man got a, the man got a, a little bedroom in the pastor's study, mm -hmm. so he can have some one-on-one -on -one sessions with uh. With, with other first ladies that show up. Forbid. Jesus. People of God, mm. people of God, I, I want I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. We we need to really pray to the Father for discernment like yes. never before. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Me, if y'all don't have no discernment, y'all ain't gonna make it in this age. Right. right. In age, mm. I'm gonna say age. I ain't gonna say hour. I ain't gonna say season, yeah. age, for the race, for the rest of this age. I'm like, show be ready to close out. And, and, you know, you know, I, I didn't tell my wife. I, I, I really didn't tell her. But somebody inboxed me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. Don't I'm gonna say this. You, you ain't got to tell because, her. Because, because, because <laughs> people ask me certain stuff that be going on. Uh huh. You know, on social media. Uh huh. And, and I, and I'll be like, why they asking me that you need my opinion on somebody else? I'm not gonna give it to you. Come on. Somebody asked me a question between I'm gonna see say this live about the Jakes and the Sarah Sarah Roberts Jakes or whatever mm -hmm. their situation. What did I think about it? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. One thing about it, we don't do no debating about no, nothing no, that goes no, on. No, if no. the father ain't told us to touch that? certain subjects. Mm -hmm. We're not going to touch mm -hmm. certain subjects. That's why he appointed different people right. in different realms and different platforms, different marketplaces for them to do those types of things. Our main focus is focus on what the assignment that the Father has blessed you with. Right. If he sent you into the marketplace, then you deal with the things in the marketplace. If he if he sent you inside four walls, you deal with the things inside the four walls. If it's not by assignment, I'm not going to touch it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm sorry. I'm not the one that just want to debate or say stuff. They might be the same. Gino Tiedis, whatever that man's name is, they like to debate back and forth with people. I, I'm, not the type, I'm not the type. I'm not the type. <laughs> she I'm said not she not Yeah, he, he do a lot of that. That's not my assignment to put mm, on mm, that. Mm, Jesus. That's not my assignment.
Right. Everything is tied to chasing out the prophets that's true that's true and you know i want to add this part as you just stated because of the understanding the centurion understood order and the authority that jesus had right 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 that's why he right, said listen right. oh, you gotta come to my house just speak the word that's good right there that's it that's good right there yes yes that's people pick the problem is people won't change but don't want the word my God, lazy. lazy. G G Jesus told a woman, "Your faith." Uh oh. Mm. Y'all uh -oh. better pay attention. Uh -oh. Cause see, some of y'all, if y'all just speak the word of God mm, over yourself, you will have to go to so and so, a prophet, so and so, healing, who oh say deliverance conference, and who say speak mm -hmm. the word of God over yourself. Give me the I, I, I just, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, I mean, same people going to different folks. Okay. Right. He said, he said, he said, your faith has made you well. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. The woman instantly was healed after that. Go ahead. Go yeah. Ahead. No, 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 no. <laughs> I am in agreement. Listen, here we go. You said her faith had right. made her whole. Right, right, and the Bible says that faith is the substance of things hoped for, uh -oh. the evidence of things not seen. The adversary is attacking the hope. Woo! My God, Jesus! Woo! My God, come on, come on! 
Come on. He's not attacking the faith. He's attacking the hope. Because he, if he can get you off center, if he can get you off, 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 off track, mm -hmm. then he's Jesus. already won. Come on, my God, my God. Attacking the that's whole a word. That's, that's a word. word. That's a word. Of my stuff. That's a word. I'll find self. That's a word. Oh my God. Yep. My God. The same thing with the the same thing with the with a woman and Zerophay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, she. Oh my God! Everything she was lacking, what, what, everything that she was lacking, was already in her house to be increased. Oh yes. Yes. Oh my God! Oh, she. See, see, some of y'all, some of y'all worried about the economy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> some of y'all worried about the economy. Y'all don't understand when there's chaos in the world. God is moving on behalf of the church. Oh, that's, it. that's it. That's an open door for us right there. The mm. prices of homes are dropping. They're dropping tremendously. Mm. Don't y'all understand? We, what we talked about last night, what you said, <laughs> Pastor, what you said, what was taking place oh my God. With, 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 the, with the holiday was mm -hmm. in preparation to what's the call. Yes, sir. Mm. That was a shift. Oh my God. These past three days, that been a shift. Yeah. Economically, uh -huh. y'all better pay attention. <laughs> that was a shift. My God. Mm. Jesus. Mentally, that was a shift. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was a shift. And, and God said, look, at my, look, some of my people about to lose their mind. Lose their mind. They don't even understand what season they in. Right. He said, I'm dropping the prices of the homes for my people. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Y'all better. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. And then folks still trying to get business and stuff up and running. This is an opportunity. Chill. I can yeah. see so many people talking about it's the, 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 um, the grants and stuff is open for different especially black women is so many grants are being open and, and people i'm tired of people hearing people say oh the white man trying to keep me down no you keeping yourself down because you ain't doing your research right. you want everything handed to you without you looking for it that's why he gave you two eyes two eyes the natural mm -hmm. and he gave you the spirit mm -hmm. this is why this is why we need to understand about the school Lord, we need to understand about the spirit of sonship. Uh oh, mm. what's right? What right? But wait, wait a minute. Some people have given up their birthright. They, they, they yeah. not sold their birthright mm -hmm. because they wanted more fame and fortune before the father could do anything. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, I don't sell my birthright so I can be included with the Illuminati. Mm. They don't want to speak this, on that. Right. <laughs> they don't want to speak on that. <laughs> I done sold my birthright because I want to be this and be in that. Yep. Yeah. They don't wrote their name, actually wrote their name in blood. So and, and this is why I'm even gonna go here. This is why lately, for some of y'all folks that's caught in the music industry, this is why some of these rappers end up like they've been. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. Listen, the church better pay attention. Yep. For when real. you give your soul, like right, 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 gospel artists too. When you give your soul to the devil, when you give your soul to the devil, you let him know that he's Lord over your life. And, and what they really don't know because they still being ignorant of the devices of the enemy because the enemy still can't have their souls because their souls belong to the oh, Lord. You better go right. on with it now. Okay. So they, they're being tricked mm -hmm. with witchery, right. thinking this, you know what I'm saying? And that's why a lot are trapped in there because they thinking that it's over for them. And a lot of them are crying out because once they they had a taste of this and they seeing right that what right. they want is so bad because once again gotta give you what you're asking for uh oh so you gotta be careful what you ask for uh oh and that's right. why he's preparing and sending his people in that are totally equipped right to let them know 
Baby, you can come, come out, out from amongst them. Come on. You yes, can yes, come yes. out from amongst them. Yes. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. As we were talking about where God positioned his people, I need you to be the eye to see for my people. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. To yes, see yes, and have an ear or be the mouthpiece wherever God is positioning mm -hmm. people because it's so many of us that God is calling to the marketplace. Yes. A lot of a lot of people ain't gonna Ooh. be comfortable going in with them people to pull them out. My God. I'm doing and and in, in, in this lifetime, I'm doing everything that God tells me. You better, you better obey. Come and on. I don't care who look at me crazy. Don't worry about it. They That's right, because I'm. A, it's so many people, it's so many sheep that is not of this fold that is out there, and they right. lost, and their names is written in the Lamb Book of Life. Right, oh, come on. Yes. They have to get saved. Yes, they Lord. have to, and they. And right now, as Pastor was speaking on, if the enemy can get you to think on other things, and there's hope all lost, then, then you. It's a lot of smoke screen. And that's what I'm saying. It's a lot of smoke screen going on in the world. And people is losing focus because they're paying attention to their smoke screen. What right. okay? What happened to the monkeypox? It's, it done went silent. What happened to the war that was in Ukraine? It done went silent. All of these things. The smoke screen. To get uh, our minds out of what the creator was wanting us to see. God is allowing it though. But the, yep. the real ones, we we stand in tune. Yeah. Uh uh. He said this stuff will not come near my dwelling. That's all I'm saying. Come on. Yes, Lord. That's all I have to stand on is His word. Like He said, these things won't come near my dwelling, and they not. They shall not. Come on. And they will not. Because I'm standing on the truth. All these false you know? flags. I'm telling you, y'all better recognize these false flags. Stop talking about it. Get on your knees and pray. When the Father, okay. when He's showing you these things, it's for us to pray. Pray. All of us don't, don't supposed to be releasing. He got set time profits in those high ranking realms to, to, to uh, warn and to talk about what needs to be talked about in those different realms. Yep. My yep, God. Yep, yep. But I, I do want to um, pray and um, yeah, yeah, I'm about to think it's you, over because like you know, y'all mighty. <laughs> I just want to pray over God's people, pray over us, and um, you know why? Why we are up under an open heaven for real, and not just ask for things, but request spiritual gifts and ask yes. God for spiritual things for His people and for Him to increase. So, um, Father God, we just thank you, you. thank you for this live, Oh God, thank that you, you allow us to be on. God, we yes, thank you for even you. giving us the the privilege, God, to come on yes. and to speak to your people, Father God, yes. that yes. your name may be glorified, that you come may on. be yes. glorified, Oh God, Father yes. God, I come on the behalf of every single soul yes. that yes. is on this live, Father God, thank and Father you. God, I ask that not that you give them things, but Father God, I ask that you increase their spiritual gifts. Yes, Father God. I ask that you increase them in every area, Father God. I ask that you awaken them, Father God. I ask yes, that you Lord. give them wisdom like never before, understanding, yes, knowledge, yes, and revelation, oh God, on, in this yes, hour, Lord. Father God. I ask that you remove all distractions from them, yes, Father God, Lord. and increase them, Father God. Make them zealous to have a relationship with you, oh God. Hallelujah. Make them zealous to come in yes. well with you, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for our spiritual people. Parents, God. I ask that you strengthen them, Father God. Increase them, Father God. Increase them in every area of their life, Father God. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for taking them to another dimension in this hour, oh God. I thank you, Father God, for increasing their spiritual gifts, giving them foresight, Father God. I thank you, Father God. And the ones that are watching, Father God, that, that feel like they can't be a part, you can be a part of God's kingdom. You can be a part of God's kingdom. Don't let the enemy take your mind and make you try to rise yeah, up against God, one, yes, you can be a part of God's kingdom. Repent, wash your hands, and come on yes, and yes. be with God. In the name of Jesus, Father yes. God, I just thank you, Father God, for your unfailing love, oh God. I yes, thank yes. you, Father God, for prospering us in the spirit, God. Yes, in Lord. the spirit, God. Yes, I thank Lord. you, Father God, because there's nothing like your spiritual gifts, God. Yes, it's 
is nothing like enlightening your people to your truth, oh God. So mm -hmm. I just want to come to you, Father God, on today you, with that request, Father God. Thank you, you Lord. Make my request be made known. Thank Father you, Lord. God. So I'm coming on the behalf of your people, oh God, yes, God. To end, for you to impact on them, Father God, yes, to show them Thank things you, to come, Father God. Hallelujah. Increase them, oh God. Hallelujah. Increase them with your spiritual gifts, oh God. Yes, Lord. Speak to their hearts while they're asleep, oh God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, for every living soul, Father God, on today. Yes, Lord. I thank you for your compassion. Yes, God. God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I thank you for your long suffering towards thank us, you, Lord. oh God. Yes, Lord. Father God, I didn't come to ask for things, God. Yes, but Lord. But only spiritual things, oh God. Hallelujah. And I thank you for hearing us, oh God. Yeah, God. Yeah, I God. thank yeah, you God. for yeah, hearing God. us, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that my, my prayer reached heaven, oh God. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Father. Thank and you. I ask that you cover each individual, God. Yes, cover Lord. them in your blood. Cover their household, oh God. Yes, Lord. Thank you for allowing you, your Lord. angels to guard them, oh God. Thank, thank you, Lord. you, Father thank God. God. For being a father, God, and that we are not fatherless, oh God. Thank yes. you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Yes. In your precious, mighty name, Father God. And I also ask, Father God, that you cover this man of God that you have given me, God. Yes, I Lord. ask that you strengthen him, Father God, in every gift that you have given him, oh God. And no I weapon that is formed against him will be able to God. Oh God. I thank you that you send your angels on his behalf to fight every battle and triumph yes, for him, oh God. I thank you for strengthening him, oh God. I yes, thank God. you for your love for him, God. I thank you for carrying him and keeping him, oh God. I yes, thank you, Father God. I thank you that every trap that the enemy thought that he was going to set for him on, is yes, the Lord. Lord, oh God. I thank you, Father. The blood, not about shit. I thank no. you, Father, yeah. that peace is his portion, oh yes, God. Lord. Yes, Lord. Grace, I thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Love is his portion, oh God. Thank you, I Lord. I thank God. you that he will Hallelujah. not fall here, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Father God, as he do your Hallelujah. will, oh God. I thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. every open door that you have opened for him, oh yes, God. Lord. To do your will, God. Hallelujah. To do what you called him to do, oh God. Yes. Hallelujah. And Father, I ask that you continue to equip me, oh God, yes. to do what I'm supposed to do, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Father, for increasing yes. me, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for enlightening my spiritual gifts, God. Yes, Thank Lord. you for taking me to another level. Oh Hallelujah. God. Yes. Yes, thank Lord. you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. We thank you on today, Father thank God. Thank you, Father God. We thank you, Lord. And Father God, I ask that you close every demonic portal, yes, God, Lord. because Lord. I understand the importance of these portals being open around yes, this Lord. time, oh God. Lord. Shut them all. Shut every Shut demonic that. portal yes. up, oh God, that nothing will be released when our blessings are yes, being released. Hallelujah. Oh thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We thank you on today, Father. Yes, Glory to God. We thank you for your precious breath, Glory oh God. To God. We thank you for keeping us, oh God. Yes, thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. For not letting the devil have his way, oh God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. For your Hallelujah. unfailing hand, oh God. Your unfailing love, oh God. Yes, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. you. Thank you. Hallelujah. You will never fail, oh God. Yes, Lord. Father God, I ask that you increase your people faith on today, oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes. I Lord. ask that you increase their belief, God. Yes, God. I ask that you show up for them, oh God. Yes, Lord. It's something Hallelujah. that people are asking you, Father God. I ask that you do it for them in this hour, oh yes, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I ask, Father God. Thank you, Lord. That your people may believe again. Yes, that God. they may believe again, oh God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. That we may believe again, God. Yes, Lord. That Hallelujah. we may return, Father God, to our first love. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And in your holy name, I pray. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, yes, daughter. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, my God. My God, yes, Lord. We we all pray that your hearts will burn with this truth yes, on tonight. Lord. Hallelujah. We want to thank once again, Apostle yes. Dayton. Yes, sir. And Apostles, I'm sorry, Dayton and Darius Stoops. Yes, Lord. The yes. Lord has shifted 
The Lord has moved yes, tonight Lord. as well as last night. Yes, and I'm telling y'all, the Father is not through. Mm. He's not through. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. He's not through. Well, mm. yes, Lord. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. This was an awesome, awesome, awesome teaching on tonight. Yes. We just give our glory back unto the Father. We we love y'all. We yes. appreciate y'all yes. obedience. I didn't got I didn't got yes. caught up in the spirit. I'm so high in the spirit off that prayer, Jesus. We just my eyes are even God. short. Look at my eyes. Do y'all see the power of God in which he yes. Does? Yes. Hallelujah. The glory. Listen, God, God is answering his people. Uh, yes. Because while y'all both people. was ministering, while y'all both was ministering, I just kept, the Father just kept showing me rainbows. He said, my promises shall prevail. Yes, Lord. That's all he kept showing me. He said, my yes. promises shall yes. prevail over my people. Yes, and that's all he was pretty much showing me. And, I, you know, I just thank the Father. You know that his promises are yea and amen. That we are yes, not going to be, we are not going to lack in this season. <laughs> as we continue to obey what the Father is doing and saying to us as His people, <laughs> as His sons and as His daughters. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm just excited for what the Father is getting yes, ready to do. Yes. You know, for His people as we continue to walk in obedience, no matter what the people is saying, no matter what the people is doing, let them keep talking. Yeah, because we know as we obey the Father, we are not going to be left without anything. We're not going to be empty-handed. The Father said, if "You do my business. I'm gonna take care of you." Amen. That's true. I'm gonna take care of you. We ain't gonna have to want for nothing. And I stand <laughs> firm on that on that scripture. Have I yet seen the righteous? Hallelujah. He said, "Have I seen <laughs> it? yet?" That key word, "yet," right in my spirit. Right. Because it's been plenty of times that my home went into foreclosure. Plenty of times my light bill went up to two thousand dollars and didn't get cut off. He said, "Have I yet seen the righteous?" Hallelujah. My refrigerator didn't never go down, never get low. My pantry never got low because he always had a ram in the bush. Always. He always provided a ram in the bush. My my my. But as long as we continue to stand firm on what we believe, the hope that we hope in, hallelujah, what the Father has placed down on the inside of us, nothing and nobody or nothing can take that away hallelujah. from us. Yes. Nobody can take that away from us. And I'm, and, I'm, and I'm glad that, you know, as you were praying, you said, Father, allow the people to return back to their first love. We have yes. got away from yes. returning back to the Father. We mm -hmm. have put man before the father too long and and and, and it's time the time is up for putting man before God. Right. Because you don't want him to come and remove that person out of your life to get your attention. Right. Because he's done me a like he done me like that numerous of times. Where I all I, I was putting people before him. He said, Okay, I'm taking this person away from you. Mm. I'm taking this part. It's gonna be to the point you're gonna be walking by yourself. Nobody mm. but you and the Lord. And for some of the people, this is a season of isolation. Yeah. <laughs> this is a season for isolation. Yeah. Anything y'all have to say before we get off? No, we we love you guys and we want we you guys all to encourage. Mm. Be encouraged. Yes. Be encouraged. Yes, Lord. This hour. Yes, Lord. Be encouraged. Hallelujah. In this hour. Yes, Lord. Be encouraged in this hour. That's it. Yes, Lord. Well, God bless y'all. Y'all go on and so y'all can rest. We just thank y'all once again. We love y'all. Yes. Y'all have an awesome, yes. wonderful night. We love, we love you guys too. Okay. All right. God bless you. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Good My God. Yes, Lord. That 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 pretty much sums it up for tonight. We thank you. We thank every last one of you all for watching. Hallelujah for tuning in on tonight. Ooh, yes, Lord. The Father has spoken. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. The Father has spoken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just Hallelujah. we just 
we, we love you all from the bottom of our hearts. Thanks for supporting us. Thanks for watching us. Yes. Thank Hallelujah. You. More thank blessings you. be unto you all in your households. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus' name. Anything you want to say, dear? Nope, the spirit of that's lifted. You know, we love you guys. Like my husband said, we love everybody. Y'all continue to be blessed. Continue to walk in obedience as the Father leads you. Yeah. Continue to be encouraged. Don't let no devil in hell, hallelujah, sway you away from the real truth of the Father. Hallelujah. In this hour, in this season. God bless everybody. Y'all have a you. wonderful night. Love you too, um, Kathy. We love all our spiritual babies on here. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. <laughs> See y'all next week. Yes. Tune in next week. We'll, we'll have some things posted on Facebook if we're going to go live. And if the Father yeah. releases if, us to yeah. Hallelujah. And we, Hallelujah. Give, we give him the glory and the praise and the honor. God bless you, everybody. Good night. Good night.